The dark web is notorious for sending us some of the craziest stuff from anglerfish, sharks, shark eggs, groupers, you name it, the dark web is known to send it to us. We know you guys absolutely love when we order things off the dark web. So here we are with another one today. So let's jump right into it. So here's our box, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, feeling pretty good. You guys really know, nice. weight check. Weight check. Weight check. It's Water, fish check. substance. Fish guy weight check. As you guys know, we always plan ahead for the future. Sponge and Patrick. I eat everything in sight. The Saddleback has survived thus saddle far. Saddleback, yes. Very surprising to me because SpongeBob is the size of a double meatball, so it's five dollar foot long sandwich at this point. I've been he's feeding him constantly, making sure he's <laughs> stuffed. Because literally, like I see his food, he eats it. It's not even instant, funny. Instant. So what I did is I got a lot of these guys for us today. I'm talking thousands, ladies and gents. Those are beauties today. Caught all those. Me and Jack were out there. We caught all these guys today, and uh, it's a perfect opportunity to, feed our boys. to stock this tank. We're stocking them, baby. It's on the way. Sponge, Saddleback, everybody is about to go. It's a frenzy. It's about to go nuts. It's about to go nuts. Brooke, watch Sponge. He's going right towards. Look at Sponge. Sponge is pissed. Sponge is pissed. Oh my god. Oh! oh! Dustin, oh, Saddleback! Saddleback. Oh, saddle saddle on the top, on the top. Right here, right there. Oh, oh. oh my god, he's a psycho savage. Look at, watch the Saddleback, Brooke. He already has one in his mouth. He's got one in his mouth. He's gonna eat another. Go eat near there he goes. He got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Sponge absolutely dusted him. Look at how many are along the back there. We got food for days. We want to prepare for whatever comes out of this box. Just in case we do need to put it in here, we know that these guys need to be fed and what a better way to do it than a live feeding. Oh, the shark got that. The shark just engulfed that. Holy crap. Just engulfed that live, live. The great part about Sponge is he's so fat. You know why he's so fat? Because he's so lazy. He blends right in with the rock. So these things swim by thinking, oh, it's just a rock. Psych. Ooh! He waited for his opportunity and he struck. The meatball sub. Glass. That's what you call the body check into the boards. That was sick. All right, now that the fish are all fed, thank God, just in thank case God. anything has to go in this tank. Remember, guys, we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away a GoPro. All you gotta do is go follow us on our Instagram at the Fish Guys. That's all you gotta do when you're entered into the Simple. giveaway. One of you Instagram followers will win a GoPro. Now let's uh, let's unbox this thing. You know what time it is? It's this time. It's time. Aquarius time. You find out what's going on in my aquarium. Let's go. I'm opening it. I'll do the honors this time, Jack. Go for you, it. You usually I'll do hold it first. I'll hold her still. Good precision. Still got it. Oh, we got bag galore! Big bag! First bag looks a little suspicious. Could have an octopus in here that just inked. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna yeah, lift it ready, up. This could be an inked octopus or a squid in here. Brown. It's a completely black water. It's the brown bag. It's brown it. bag. It's literally full of crap. Is there literally anything in there? Now, this could be a mix between phytoplankton. This could be good green Wait, algae to feed your yellow tangs and your phytoplankton. I have never seen a, ba a bag arrive like this. There's got to be something in here, right? There has to be something in here. What if there's an octopus in here? Well, then I think you would say, say he's probably dead. I can't see anything. Can anybody see anything in here? What does that feel like? I think that bag's pretty brutal. I don't see anything. It's just brown. Who? I'm gonna go ahead and say that whatever's in here is dead, if, if there even is anything in here. Wow. What a strange bag. That is a strange bag. I mean, there's literally particles of, could be a harlequin shrimp. Guys, fun fact, harlequin shrimp, the male wake up in the morning, go like this, and dance around the female to impress her, like this. <laughs> All right, harlequin shrimp bag, I don't think it's, it's alive in here. Careful with it, dude. That could seriously be like, this could be, this could be the next variant in this <laughs> bag. <laughs> totally the next variant. How's that for data? There's nothing in here, guys. No, there's, no. There's no. Bring that to the lab, test it. There's no specimens in this. I'm gonna literally just send that to I do you. see a fish, though. I do see a fish, Ooh. our first fish. This looks like some sort of wrasse or... No, that's what? not a wrasse. Hawk I fish? No, never... that's looking like a grouper. I have never... Is that a grouper? I, I've never seen this fish before in my life. I've never seen a fish like that ever. He's white with pinkish brown spots, but it has a face like a grouper, but a body like a hawkfish. And or... the fin's kind of like a panther grouper, Yeah, it's not a panther grouper. Super strange. If anyone knows what this is. It's a hybrid. It's Let a hybrid. Ras, harlequin, harlequin shrimp. shrimp. Let me know in the comments. I've never seen it. Definitely could be a harlequin, for sure. No, it's definitely not, Jack. That's a cool fish, though. That's a really cool fish. There you go, Chris. Good execution, man. Dude, he's, to, to me, bro. To that... me, that's a, a hybrid. <laughs> To me, that looks like a that thing is a never been seen before. A fish. common ras, dude. That's yeah, a, it could be a harlequin shrimp. That's though. a first ever possible species. hybrid. Honestly, guys, though, comment down below if you do know what that fish is, because to me, it's some sort of hawkfish grouper hybrid. I I don't know. I've never seen that before. That's a really what is that, that's a bro? Cool fish. There we go, guys. Nice. Look at him. There he goes. Could be world's first one of one. 
Hawkfish grouper hybrid. Different species for sure though. All right, next bag, next bag. We got a beautiful fish. Next bag. Ew. Hang on. Um, uh, why do we always get these? Jack, what wow. are these, bro? Some sort of crickets. That is a, not a fish. I ordered fish from the internet. So far we've gotten crickets. Are they? They're what alive, they? dude, they're alive. Sand fleas? Those are- Some sort of invert, no? I think those are, oh my God, they're freaking- Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Cockroach. Cockroach. I don't know if we- Cockroach. What are we supposed to do with these? We're just gonna put them off to the side. Put them off to the side. Is it even a fish? Put no. it with the, um, the other variant. Dude, I see something in this bag, low key, but it's fire. I've been peeking. Like, you know, like when you're like, your mom says like, don't peek in there, you got Christmas gifts. I'm always peeking, I'm a peeker. Okay. And I peeked in this box. You're a peeker? Yes. Yeah. No, not a peeper. No, dude. Now before we unbox the next bag here, remember to go check out Fish Got a Chop. It's actually right down underneath the YouTube video. You can see all the products. We got the new Cut the Plastic Performance Tees. I'm repping Respect the Reef today. That is friggin' nice. Respect the Reef today and Cut the Plastic. That's two great messages. If you guys wanna have a good message every single day you wake up and put on one of our shirts, you have a good message on the back. Respect the Reef, Cut the Plastic. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. Mm. Go check out Fish Got a Chop or the shelf. Right underneath the video. All right, the final bag, and I think it's the best one of them all. Right here, look at this, guys. Look at that's that right stuff. there. That's the fish I'm talking about right now. That there. is what we're talking about. That's sick. Emperor Snapper, baby. We gotta feed him big time. Yeah, these things grow literally like a weed. If we feed this thing daily and stuff him, he will be in the saltwater pond in no time. That thing is absolutely crazy. Ridiculous. Let's get him in the styrofoam thing so we can get a good look at him. All right, in he goes. Look at that fish, dude. That is so damn cool. Some of the coolest fish definitely in the saltwater, you know, spectrum of the hobby, but definitely a cool fish. Look at that guy. I think that's my favorite saltwater fish, dude. That's definitely really freaking cool. I don't think he gets much He's like than that walking guy. on the top of the water. You gotta get him big quick. Yeah, definitely. Imagine that thing in the big saltwater pond. All right, let's get this guy into the tank. He is freaking, oh, he's a leaper. Oh, he's a jumper. He is a Joe! Oh my god, he's got some spawn. Dude, I can't even know! Dude! He's a 10 out of 10 All right, I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him. Look at that guy. Woo, baby! An extremely hard fish to come by, so coming by these is an absolute home run! It's a home run if you can get your hands on an Emperor Snapper, especially any size. Big, small, medium, whatever. If you can get your hands on an Emperor Snapper, you freaking do it. Now guys, we got two pretty unique fish today. We got that spotted fish and of course the home run, the Emperor Snapper. Now drop some names in the comments below because this guy I want to be a staple on the channel, guys. Drop some names in the comments below so we can name this dude and have him on here for a long time. We got some pretty decent uh, five. No, no, that, that Emperor Snapper is a freaking that made That's the box. That's a beauty. That's a dream. That easily made the box is that Emperor Snapper. I'm gonna try to feed him as much as possible so we can go into the ponds, get really, really big. I wanna keep him forever. Cross your fingers, hopefully he does well in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check out Fish Guy down below. Fishguy.shop in the YouTube shelf or at Fishguy.shop on the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Later.